Today what I'm trying to do is actually meet with uh, basically financial service providers and clients to see first of all what are they stumbling uh, with when they're trying to grow and really give them better services and more services to people that really need it. And of course from the client side in the end of the day it is about giving a service to a client that will actually improve their lifestyle and really improve their situation. So it is how that service actually really helps them. So I'm trying to learn from them what is it that they really need and uh, which also are the stumbling blocks uh, to actually make a better life. So, um, of course, I've been informed by all my partners about all the regulatory frameworks and things that should still need to be done, the amount of work that's already been done, and how to actually coordinate and cooperate further with many, many partners to actually really get to uh, having universal access and usage of financial services to the positive impact of all Georgians and all the host communities um, uh, that are living in Jordan. Until now, uh, Jordan has been growing. We have 33% of the population that actually has access to financial services. The usage is still lagging, so we need to concentrate on that. And still we have a long way to go until we actually achieve that 100%. But um, that's what I'm here for, to actually, together with all our partners, get a little bit of more uh, um, yeah, speed onto that development. Universally, I mean, across the globe, I focus in three groups because there are three groups that in general are lagging behind. Those are the poorest, mostly the 40% poorest of any community in every country. The rural, because it's much more difficult to get to the rural areas. And the women, because sometimes it's not just a question that will grow and, you know, women just adopt these products and now they will use them. Sometimes you need to be have some customer-centric design products for women. Um, for example, in the case of Jordan, uh, we just had an example this morning that by actually having women agents, you know, ladies would actually be much more prone to open an account, give them the ID, have a photocopy, have a better explanation than if a man would actually offer that to them. So little changes like these actually make a huge change. In general, uh, it's extremely important that women are independent and examples of entrepreneurs like Fatima here are wonderful and I think, you know, I think investing in women to be successful and being an example to other women is extremely important. اليوم عملت كنت مع الملكة وتناقشنا عن صندوق المرأة وإني أخذت قرض على المطبخ عملت مطبخ إنتاجي وصرنا نتحكي إنه عملنا مطبخ إنه عملت مطبخ إنتاجي وقدرت ساعد زوجي وأولادي 